Okay, so you have a purified antibody and you don't want the heavy and light chain to be co-eluted along with your target protein. Got it. How we proceed from here will depend on your elution conditions. If you would like to elute your protein under non-denaturing conditions, then go ahead and click here. You should use this method if you want to study your protein or protein complex in its native state. For example, if you want to run a non-denaturing gel, or you want to study protein function, protein-protein interactions, or protein structure. Alternatively, if you're only primarily interested in running an SDS page gel, you can elute your protein in SDS or LDS sample buffer containing reducing agents. If that's your preference, then go ahead and click here. And if for some reason you only want to use denaturing conditions that are non-reducing and you don't want to have either DTT or BME in your elution buffer, then go ahead and click here. Go ahead and select the elution conditions that best describe what you plan to do. Non-denaturing, denaturing and reducing conditions, or denaturing and non-reducing. Take a moment and make your selection. We're almost there.